Patriots, welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm yours, Donald Lorenzo. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may not be seated. Today is Thursday, May 20th, 2021. Let's go to Ana Alicia to see what happened today in history. Thank you, Yazdani. Today in history on May 20th, 2005, Ricky Raphael Brown, best known as the stage name No Clue, makes it into the Genius World Records by obtaining the title of the world's official fastest rap MC for rapping 723 syllables in 51.27 seconds. That's 14.1 syllables per second, which was on his track New West in January 2005. Looks like Eminem just lost his title as the rap god. Now let's go to Chris for the sports highlight. Thank you, Annalicia. Today's sports highlights are presented to you by the Patriots. 64-year-old endurance swimmer Diana Nyad accomplished her lifelong dream to become the first person to swim 103 miles from Cuba to the Florida Keys without a protective shark cage. Diana dove into the warm waters off Havana, Cuba, surrounded by a team of experts. The athlete swam almost continuously for 52 hours and 54 minutes, stopping only for short food breaks. Despite the grueling swim, the badly sunburnt, slightly dazed, and disoriented athletes still seem to have the energy to acknowledge her gathered fans. Now let's go to Noah to see what's for lunch. Thank you, Chris. Today's lunch is turkey and cheese sandwich, hummus cup, baby carrots, fresh apples, mustard, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to your start. Thank you, Noah. Scholars, just one more week of FSA exams. Here are the upcoming May FSA dates. Patriots, the book fair is currently ongoing and runs through May 30th. Get your parents to join you in searching for some amazing books online while also helping to support our school. Link to the book fair is in the description below. Now, let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Yos Donnie. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 83 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Looks like the clouds are out. Let's hope it's just the clouds and not the rain. Now let's go to Simon for the joke of the day. Thank you, Dean. And here's today's joke of the day. Have you heard about the claustrophobic astronaut? He really needs some space. Now I'm going to show you for today's birthday. Thanks, Samuel. That was super funny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Adonis Corbin, Kamari Arzen, Silly Mendoza, Michael Guzman, and Jasmine Gonzalez. Happy birthday! Let's go back to your study. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the schools of art respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Santi Stylon, Ms. Hendrickson, Ms. Yearwood, Ms. Calabrese, Ms. Sam Dankwa, Ms. Stone, Ms. Silver, and Ms. Samuel. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, a monkey, a squirrel, and a bird are racing to the top of a coconut tree. Who gets the banana first, the monkey, the squirrel, or the bird? The correct answer to the riddle was, there are no bananas at the top of a coconut tree. Now for today's riddle. How is Ron 10 years old? in 1870, but only five years old in 1875. Again, how is Ron 10 years old in 1870, but only five years old in 1875? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on tomorrow's morning announcements. Everyone on RBTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And don't forget, remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day.